Mike, I don't know how you remember all these companies and your children's names, so we'll just keep going here. Uh, Dan, D-A-N. Yeah, that's Ariane Phosphate. So that's, um, you, you see what's happening in the lithium markets, Pete? The lithium market is in a, what I dream of having the gold market, the copper market be in a couple of years, which is a raging bull market. And what's, what's driving the lithium market is the perception that we're massively short lithium to meet the demand for the electric vehicle batteries food chain that we're having in the next three to five years. So lithium prices have literally gone up 10 times from their previous peak in 2017, 10, thousand percent higher than the previous peak. When I dug into space, I'm a contrarian, so I don't like tracing the sectors that are that hot. I think it's risky to put money in lithium stocks right now, given how high the valuations are. But as I dug into the valuation and the work of the battery food chain, I realized LFP batteries, lithium iron phosphate batteries, are 31% of the world's EV battery manufacturing. And the P in LFP batteries is for phosphate. So I said, okay, what's, what's the phosphate market look like? And no one's paying any attention to phosphate because phosphate goes into fertilizer. It goes into food. That's a boring agricultural type commodity. It's very steady, slow and steady demand. doesn't move around that much. and doesn't really attract a lot of investors. When I ran the math on the phosphate, I discovered that if the lithium demand curves are true, if the lithium prices are anywhere close to accurate what the demand is forecasting, the demand for phosphate is going to go to the roof. It's going to increase from about a 1% or 2% demand per year for phosphate to 4 or 5%, which in commodities is a, is a massive increase. And nobody's aware of the role that phosphate plays in EV batteries. Mm. The second thing I learned is not all phosphate is applicable to go into EV batteries. There's a certain kind of phosphate deposit, which is a hard rock deposit that's ideal in terms of grade and concentration to go into EV batteries. Only 10% of the world's phosphate comes from that type of rock. And most of that rock, peep is in Russia. <laughs> And Russia is a little bit of persona non grata right now. So Ariane is in Quebec, fully permitted, which I can't say enough how valuable that is, shovel ready, which means they've gone through the 10-year permitting process in Quebec and is the largest unbuilt hard rock phosphate deposit in the world in a tier one jurisdiction of Quebec. And the last thing I'll say is all these credits you're seeing from the Biden administration for EV vehicles, they have the billion, the trillions of dollars they're throwing at this uh, tax credit at this industry. You have to have it made in Canada or the USA. So even if you find a good phosphate deposit outside of North America, you will not qualify if you're Ford or Tesla building a battery plant in Nevada. You cannot use rock from outside the country. So this, this is already very strategically positioned based on a geopolitical basis, but with the tax credits coming in as well, this is a deposit that has to get built. It's a $60 million market cap or $80 million market cap today. My calculation, net present value, it's got a $2 billion net present value in terms of mind building discounted kind of cash flow analysis, and the stock is fully permanent. So what, the, what they're missing is the billion and a half dollars to build the mine, but the strategic value of this deposit is extremely high and the stock is completely disconnected from reality in terms of valuation. Well, that is a real analogy. And I think that's one of your gifts, Mike. God blessed you with a, a way to get into companies and understand macro and micro. And uh, that's a real, that's an especially interesting story. And I think you're onto some. I haven't heard anybody talk about phosphate. That's the first time I really heard it. You know, we say when there's, when there's a gold rush, you want to be the guy selling the shovels. Well, there's a lithium rush right now. You want to be the guy who understands what else is going to benefit from that lithium food chain, which is the battery food chain. And a lot of these markets are small, they're niche, they're not well understood, and therefore investors don't spend the time unless they're told about it to, to get involved in these names. And so, But phosphates is this kind of forgotten little corner of the market that no one's really paying attention to, and that's a real compelling opportunity.